What sort of organization is it? It's a uh, disciple Scoche is um, an association for the transmission of knowledge. It's a big family and I believe is a stepping stone of the youth. And it's, as I say, it's take fine to write the right people, passionate, uh, pa passionate and ready to take the challenge as um, Gilia and uh, Stefu, Luis. Meanwhile, the concept of fusion, most of the people I know doesn't really like uh, fusion. No, for me, fusion is not the right. Fusion is, uh, it's confusion, as I say. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not right because for me, there is no identity. Yeah. Last time we did Sotoyam. It's the same for um, what we call Kluwek. Uh, Kluwek. So Richard, welcome to Indonesia. Thank you. How do I spell your name? Is it Gillet or? Richard Gillet. Gillet? Gillet. Oh, yes. The first question would be, how do you describe Auguste Escoffier in one word? In one word, maybe I will say in three because he's a big person, he's visionary, available and a great listener. I won't talk about his achievements because they are so numerous, right? But what I want to ask you, if there is no Escoffier, what would the work of culinary would be? It will be a, it's a good question because Auguste Escoffier is uh, Frédéric Teller of the industry, basically, right? So today the structure of culinary scene won't look the same, uh, especially in terms of work condition, kitchen organization, waste management, hygiene, dietetic, and uh, the relation between uh, kitchen and restaurant. It won't be the same. From what I've heard that in the kitchen, he created the brigade system, right? Yes, correct. Before, Not only that, but... <laughs> Before, what is it? Is that like, I know I know the chefs are, when they are uh, in front of the guests, they can be have like royalties, but I know in the kitchen, they, they are pirates. <laughs> yeah, in fact, Auguste Scoffier organized the kitchen. He settled some different area, right? And mainly uh, in terms of uh, hygiene, he stopped people drinking in kitchen, stop them smoking because it's hard job and it was hard because on that time it was a wood fire oven so nobody can drink, nobody can smoke in kitchen and there is some section and uh, cleaning hands and all this kind of thing it was done by Escoffier. It was just before the First World War. Yes. So it was some kind of messy in the kitchen? Uh, it was messy. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it was kind of messy compared as today. Today is reorganized. Among of, uh, other uh, Scorpius achievements, which one resonates the most to you? To me, uh, is a uh, structure implementation, I would say, in kitchen and uh, also the implementation of the à la carte menu. Before there is no menu in a restaurant. Really? It's not working like this. So implement this in kitchen. This is for me the organization, the structural organization and the à la carte menu. Yeah. Basically what is happened is still efficient today. So basically what you're saying is that it is Escoffier that he discovered the à la carte menu. He didn't discover, he make it happen to organize <laughs> because it was messy. As I say, it was as a reference like the Frederick Taylor of the industry. So him, he did it culinary in restaurant. Let's talk about the disciples of Escoffier, right? What sort of organization is it? It's a uh, disciple Escoffier is um, an association for the transmission of knowledge. It's a big family and I believe is a stepping stone of the youth. Because in terms of passion and knowledge, it's mainly it's a bridge between uh, many master chefs, Michelin stars and very knowledgeable chefs and uh, young young people and that is the reason that i start this association in uh, in cambodia in 1917 and uh, we've been working closely with all school with uh, association who help help uh, poor kids and it gives them hope it gives them uh, help them to have a job and to have a guideline in in their life a purpose so, because as a famous movie Ratatouille, everybody can cook. Basically, are you saying that the, the, the target audience for as disciples of Escoffier is mostly youths? Yeah, I, I would say yes. The transmission, I mean, 
I don't mean I'm old, but I'm, I will become from old generation and you need to give to the young generation to transmit and again and again. There are many countries in Southeast Asia, right? Yes. So you, you don't, as Tokyo that doesn't come to every country. So why do you uh, think it's, in it's, it's, uh, uh, it's coming in 13 countries now in Southeast Asia and it's going to expand. I would say why Indonesia is because it takes time to find people and to have people motivated to go for the challenge because it's uh, somehow a, a lot of work. And I believe it's linked to the opportunity and evolution of the culinary scene in Indonesia. And it's, as I say, it takes time to write the right people, passionate, uh, pa passionate and ready to take the challenge as um, Gilia and uh, Stefu, Luis, Peselatan, Aurelien, Gilda, and Justin in uh, all the chefs in Bali are implemented in, uh, in Indonesia as well. So let's say all the ingredients are uh, in place to create this uh, strong uh, synergy. What is exactly your activities? I mean, do, do you do um, some sort of um, seminars or...? Uh... In terms of Escoffier? Yes. Yes. Ah. As a vice president, I more have a global view of the development of Escofi because we link each country, they got their own, um, own uh, issue, own problem and own motivation. I mean, uh, what, what is the activity, some, some similar culinary ah, so I, uh, activity? I mean, we try to develop and implement, uh, as I say, the knowledge. So we do it through a, young, a contest of young talent. Okay, Young test. talent contest, which, yeah, a competition. Uh, basically, is going to have one. The final is for Indonesia. Is going to be held in Bali in May this year, uh, and is targeting the young talent of 20 below 25 years old, because they usually have uh, they have uh, a master that the master gives the knowledge and instructs the young talent, and is going to compete among other other candidates. That this is. Um, for all, all country, all delegation is something is uh, really uh, a keystone. And the, the, the other thing also, actually also to, to give a dynamic, we're creating, a, we're making an e-book. E-book, okay. okay. yeah. That involves 10 chefs in each delegation. Each chef is going to, uh, is going to select one recipe of the culinary guide and the same recipe going to be adapted uh, with a local, uh, local, local ingredient. So it creates a synergy between, uh, yes, foreign chef and local in Indonesian chef that they need to muggling together and to develop the culinary scene. Okay, the, the 10 chefs that you mentioned before, are they Indonesians? I is mix. I mean, in, in Jakarta, uh, there is a chef, uh, Stefou. Also. Okay. So he's involved also because there is an evolution. I mean, everything related to, uh, to Auguste Escoffier is um, applicable and duplicable to all country. Okay. I mean, when you make a stock and you extract flavor, it's the same process when you do Indonesian food, when you do uh, Chinese food, it's, it's the same. It's the same principle. After, you just add flavor. Basically, those techniques are applicable in everywhere. And it's, it's since then, uh, Escoffier is 175 years old. So, so what of the ebook? I mean, is it you can sh you can give it for people for free or? Uh, it's going to be to be uh, accessible for for people. Yes, at least because the point is to promote each country. So uh, yes, if you take a recipe like a Ville Blanquette, you're going to make a traditional Ville Blanquette, or Cocovin is talking more about you. And uh, then uh, it's going to be uh, a cocovin with Indonesian twist. But the technique is there, but you can make Indonesian cocovin. Okay. It's, it's, it's the same uh, because it's linked anyway. Mm. The global trends nowadays is like going local, right? Yeah. Including in Indonesia. Yeah. We are really into Indonesian food and. How does Disciples of Escovia, uh, a French organization, gonna help us to do that? For me, I, I've been working with my wife with two recipes because she likes to cook as well. And uh, last time we did so, so, Soto Ayam. 
right? So, I mean, to, to my point of view, I start to make a very rich and flavory chicken stock. By the way? Uh, well, chicken uh, stock, I mean, Sat Satuayama. Yeah, yeah. I mean, your wife, is she Indonesian? Indonesian, yes. Oh, yes. really? Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, where, so where did this come from? from Jambi. 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 Jambi, okay. yes. And so we take, um, you make a basic chicken, chicken stock, and then from that, uh, you add the flavor, turmeric, uh, curcuma, and the garlic, and so on. And you do the, the same way, but I apply Escoffier uh, knowledge technique to make, uh, don't mean better, but more flavorish taste. It's the same for um, what we call uh, Kluwek. Kluwek. Kluwek, the yeah, beef, yeah, yeah. you know? So because this kind of meat is, will be good, for example, for more opinion with beef chic, but yeah. you need to be cooked usually is a bit uh, tough. Yeah. But this kind of meat, you need to cook for a long time. Five, four, five hours, long time, and then it's like butter, you know, it's, it's very, uh, very soft. I didn't and, expect uh, that you have an Indonesian wine. Ah, sorry. <laughs> so, so, so you're you're quite familiar with the Indonesian spices. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. In your opinion. Yes. How do Indonesian cuisine compare to French cuisine? I mean, like we have more spices, right? How yes. do you see the, the approach to the cuisine? I mean, there is no good or bad cuisine. There is with good product, you can make only good good cuisine. So. Uh, there is a lot of flavor in Indonesia. There is different uh, country, different province, yeah. right? So it's come up naturally, and you have you need to enhance product. You have a lot of specificity, so that is a, like a lot of culture, different ethnic. So you have bring a lot of uh, difference on the culinary scene. Is this your first time in Indonesia? No, I used to be there ten years ago. The young chefs nowadays are kind of, uh, I would say, confused because how do we develop Indonesian cuisine, right? Meanwhile, the concept of fusion, most of the people I know doesn't really like uh, fusion. No, for me, fusion is not the right. Fusion is, uh, it's confusion, as I say. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not correct because for me, there is no identity. Yeah. You can, as I say, I mean, through Escoffier, there is techniques because you bring flavor, right? You can apply this technique to Indonesian cuisine to make a dish more flavory, to have the meat more soft. If you take beef chic, you need to have slow cook long time, but you have very rich, very good dish at the end of the day. That's why, but what is interesting is the application of the techniques. Is what I was talking for Satawayam, for Kluwek, beef Kluwek. So, is it possible for, for Indonesian cuisine and French technique to gastronomically coexist? Of course. Of course. But after, you need to, so I guess it's happening already, you need to export your cuisine to uh, other countries to show. Because to, for me, to develop a country, uh, it's come from tourism first, for food. All countries, they have their own food. So you go to eat Indonesian food, you go to eat Cambodian food, you go to eat Chinese food. It starts from that. And then after, you go develop. That is interesting. So, my last question. What is your short-term objective about Disciples of Escoffier in Indonesia? But it's just we talk. I mean, it's to develop Indonesia culinary scene, to develop the, the, young, the young chef. Uh, to have more opportunity to to express themselves, to learn more, to give them passion about uh, cooking. That is the main thing. And after they can, through all the chefs, they can travel and come back and bring back some knowledge in, in Indonesia. So, who can join these disciples of the sport? Originally, it's done for the chef. You need to have at least a culinary background. Uh, to, to join with the red slash, I mean the red slash is for the red. Uh, there is a purple slash is for the people who uh, work in a restaurant, for the butler or the F&B, but they need to have practice in a restaurant, like a sommelier, a butler and so on. And there is a blue slash also. Blue slash is enhance all the gastronome. It's, mean, uh, it's mostly for people who enjoy uh, eating. Okay. Get blue slash. 
So he doesn't have to be working in a kitchen professionally. No, then you can you can be member and enjoy good food, and but you will get a boost a boost slash. For professional is the red slash and the purple slash. If someone wants to join the disciples of Escoffier, how they do? They? Need to contact Mr. Gilles. Okay. Mr. Gilles from Amuse, and uh, then after we'll guide you through a process, application form, and that is the way. I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Richard, for the opportunity. My pleasure <laughs> to share Escoffier with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.